like nobody said a word that this was a over a hundred dollar <laughs> Supreme source for all things tech, and today we are talking about the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro. That is quite a mouthful. We're starting to get very elaborate with these names, aren't we? Um, so yeah, I have been just looking at a lot of the rumors and the um leaks that have come out about OnePlus's upcoming affordable flagships that are expected to release in the end of September. The launch dates are set for the end of September, potentially September 26th, but there are also um, reports that there's there will likely be separate events in separate for separate markets so the september 26th launch may be in india while there might be more international launches in locations like us and europe in the october 10th to the 15th time frame with the 10th more likely being launch events and the 15th more likely being actual market release for these devices uh but what i wanted to talk about was really just thinking about the transition that we've seen with oneplus over the years since the first device and uh the company's original marketing as this affordable flagship and how that's kind of changed over time and what we can expect for what we can likely expect for pricing for the upcoming devices and likely how that might shift in the future. I honestly have a theory that the OnePlus 6T, more specifically the OnePlus 6T Pro, will likely start to creep into the $700 range. It might, you know, kind of cut off at the very end, uh, very high 600 so that it's technically not $700 but I really think we're starting to approach that $700 range with OnePlus and their devices. And um, so far, the leaks that we've seen, and I won't really get too much into specs. If you'd like to know about the specs leaks and the render leaks that have come out for the OnePlus 17, the OnePlus 70 Pro, I will link below some of the stories that I've written and honestly you can find a lot of um, details all over the internet, all over Twitter and Instagram and other social media. But uh, just kind of standard, just for a standard overview, we've got things like triple camera, pretty high RAM, pretty high internal storage, so we're talking about like 8 gigs and higher, uh, 128 gigs of internal storage and higher um well over 3000 4000 milliamp hour batteries for these devices uh so you know like i said we've definitely got very powerhouse type devices uh snapdragon 855 plus which if you know those that is the chip that uh qualcomm recently announced as a more gaming focused chip and we also know that oneplus also has a gaming focus on its devices especially the newer devices so like i said in terms of price i was at the oneplus 7 launch where the company announced the oneplus 7 pro which is kind of a curveball in comparison to the previous devices that we've seen from oneplus so far they gave us this super amped up model in terms of camera uh camera quantity and quality in terms of um major hardware upgrades major design upgrades and things like that and you know while everyone was ooing and eyeing in the crowd you know all the executives were like would you pay over a thousand dollars for this device and then they announced the price as uh, $669 for the base model. And then there were other models that go up, but you know, for all intents and purposes, the OnePlus 7 Pro is 
$669. And it actually wasn't um, really focused on, I found. A lot. No one really focused on the idea that it was still a $120 increase in comparison to the OnePlus 6T, which is about $549 if I remember correctly. So I'm like, that's still a pretty, that's a pretty big price jump for a company that marketed their very incremental price increases about $30 per iteration. All of a sudden you have this big fancy pro model that's, you know, even, even if it's cheaper than your standard super premium flagship, it's still a lot more expensive than a model that was released around six months prior so that's where my that's where i'm really thinking about what are we going to see with the oneplus 7t especially the pro model um what are we going to see price wise because you know again like that's i feel like that's where we really just have a question mark if if oneplus kind of goes back to their old uh 30 dollar incrementation even with that if they just add thirty dollars to the price of the OnePlus 7T, uh, and again the 7T Pro in particular, that is six hundred and ninety nine dollars right there. That's a seven hundred dollar phone. Uh, so and and again, you know, for all intents and purposes, you know, we've got some pretty uh, solid specs that we're seeing leaked, but you know, from the jump from the 6T to the 7 the 7 series to the 7 T series the 7 the 7 to the 7 T series is not that big of a jump it's definitely not as big as a jump from the 6 T to the 7 you know like I said I feel like we're really at that cusp of you know yeah in comparison to your Samsung's and things like that the the, the prices of these devices are still a steal but let's not forget that it was literally maybe three to four years ago that a Samsung flagship was around seven hundred dollars you know and we were complaining about that so how <laughs> that's you know and again I'm not saying that it's a bad thing uh what OnePlus is doing you know hey everyone's got to make money but you know that is just my that's just my musing about this product of course things are going to transition and improve but i definitely do kind of feel like oneplus had this marketing this kind of for the fans marketing strategy and now you know there is a little sense of like kind of going a little bit more corporate than anybody even expected I but there really is just the idea of Honestly, I, I honestly do kind of feel like there is a little bit of a wool over the eyes type of feel about what's happened between between last year and now. I mean, like I said, you can kind of make the same critique about Samsung where we've had, you know, the because honestly, Samsung's kind of done the same thing, but I want to talk about that. In a different video so stay tuned for that one uh but what i can talk about is even like the 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 galaxy s series where we have like the the standard s10 and the s10 plus and then we have the s10e which is supposed to be like the budget model and that's 750 dollars. but it's like it's still like who really has 750 dollars to blow on a budget device like you know you can literally make that same comparison about the big the big big guys that you can now potentially make about OnePlus and I really think that the 7 Pro was that really like cusp and demarcation of where you can be like okay they've packed a ton of power into this device and the the price is justifiably low and I honestly do think that what honestly the commentary that i actually do want to make is not even a critique against one plus it honestly is a prediction that if we see this model get to the 700 dollar range or even slightly approach the 700 dollar range the tech tech media in general is gonna roast 
one plus that's honestly what i'm trying to get at it's not even my personal opinion it's like i'm waiting to see what everybody else says because like i said we just kind of like i said we just kind of skipped over like oh my god the one plus seven pros 669 dollars and all and like i said like nobody said a word that this was a over a hundred dollar price jump like i read the stories i read everyone's announcement stories everyone's reviews and i didn't see it i did not see it mentioned i feel like you know again it was just the i feel like it was very kind of like inadvertent it was like oh yes it's a little higher than where you were used to but there wasn't anything like okay well yeah, this is, you know, like, you know, the specs are great, but this really is a big price jump. And is it getting a little bit too dangerously high to be technically considered a, an affordable flagship in the way we've seen it in the past? You know, like I said, you have the, the major high-end specs at a $400 range, at a $500 range, and that honestly feels a lot more comfortable. You know, it's not like wearing like you know, dare I say like 2009 where spending, you know, spending three or four or five hundred dollars on a phone. I mean, I feel like Blackberries were like 500 bucks back in the day. So, you know, like even then, people complained then. So I, you know, again, it's not like I said, it's not complaining. It's just observation. And I, that's all I'm saying. I'm like, if we're going to roll, if we're going to roll Samsung, like, we gotta get the coals out for, for OnePlus 2. It's constructive criticism. It's not hating on the company. You know, like I said, make that money. Cause again, like I said, the OnePlus 7 Pro is an excellent device and people definitely agree that the qual, people do agree that the quality matches the price. Um, especially in terms of, in terms of uh, affordability, but you know, in my mind, the that cusp of what is really considered affordable really kind of stops right there in that 700 range. So if you really want to call a device an affordable, you know, a budget, a budget model, an affordable model, you really can't get that close to 700. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, who's looking forward to the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro launch? And we're not even going to talk about like, you know, how the OnePlus 7 the standard just like never made it to the US and apparently it's not even priced that well internationally as well. Like we're not even going to talk about that, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd love to know what you guys think. Think. I'd love to know about who's interested in purchasing this device when it launches and would you be interested in purchasing the OnePlus 7T Pro in particular if it is very close to $700 or exceeds $700. Please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye. Yeah.